Now then, now, <clears throat> what is it you want me to do? Sit down. Tell me, uh, what happens if uh, you disintegrate in the middle of my being processed? I mean, uh, will that do me any harm? <clears throat> being uh, suspended between one thing and another, so to speak? Sit down. Oh, dear. You should have been watching him. And for a new unit. You haven't averted your fate. Only postponed it. Everything ready now. Just one moment, sir. Director, Gatwick Control calling us again. Ignore them. They claim they have found the originals. They're bluffing again. I said ignore them. Gatwick Airport to Chameleon Headquarters. Do you read me? It's no good, sir. Very well. Well, you'll have to give them a demonstration. Right, Super. Sergeant Hairskin. They have found them. They weren't bluffing. His equipment could have gone wrong. All right. What could have gone wrong with it? That is a question for our scientists. By the time they tell you that there's nothing wrong with it, you've all have disintegrated. Except, of course, the director. Be quiet. This has nothing to do with you. Yes, you're quite right. It only concerns these two. I'll keep my mouth shut. we better contact Gatwick Air Control. We've finished with Gatwick Airport. And what if they haven't finished with us? That would be your own fault, wouldn't it? You told me that all the originals were hidden, where they could not possibly be found until the life had been drained from them. Are you now telling me you are careless? Contact Gatwick Air Control. It's your design, sir. Headquarters calling Gatwick Airport. How do you read me? Gatwick Airport, Chameleon Headquarters. We are reading you loud and clear. Can you now state where you found the originals? The originals were discovered in a car park. To prove it, we have already eliminated one of your personnel, a man. I now wish to speak to the doctor. Unless I hear his voice immediately, 
The next to be eliminated will be Captain Blade. Release him. I said release him. Get to that microphone. Release the nurse first. I said I wish to speak to the doctor. Otherwise, the next will be Captain Blade. Doctor, the microphone. Are you quite all right, my dear? I think so. Good. <clears throat> Commandant, this is the doctor speaking. Ah, what a relief. Stand by while I negotiate. Now then, I will tell you my terms. I will guarantee your continued existence if you will return to Earth all the young people you abducted. No use. They've all been miniaturized. Then reverse the process. I'm afraid that's impossible. The equipment for that is on our home planet. He's lying. The planes themselves are the miniaturization chambers and they work both ways. What kind of continued existence would we have, Doctor? In your former state, I'm afraid. Your scientists would have to think of some other way out of your dilemma. It's better than death. We accept. All right. We accept. You fools, how can you trust him? Commandant, are you still there? Yes. Negotiations have been successfully concluded and arranged. Good. I'll leave the people in the car park as they are until you arrive back. Good. But please stay listening out on this frequency. I am leaving Captain Blade in charge of the radio. Can you trust him? Yes, I think I can now. What are you going to do? I'm going to try and find my three friends and the inspector. You know where they are? Yes. You will take me to them. I will call you again. Roger. Oh. Oh. oh, Hedlington, flap over. Let's get back to normal as quick as we can. Over there. I don't know which one. Talk to Jamie. <laughs> I'm glad to see you alive. How, how do you mean? I'll explain to you one day. Well, come on out. You look like a soldier in a sentry box standing there. Sit down. That's all right. He's a friend. Now sit down while I find the others. Ah. Inspector Crossland. There we are. Now, Ben, Polly. And back to Gatwick. Doctor, the first plane is ready for takeoff. We've got all the process personnel, including your three young friends aboard. Ah, good. Are you going with us, Doctor? Yes, sir. I'm going with Nurse Pinto. Are you going, Inspector? No, I think I'd better stay here just for a while to tidy things up. Are you ready, Nurse? Oh, yes, Inspector. I'll see you to the plane. I'll see you on the plane, Nurse. What will our future be, Doctor? So long as you keep your side of the bargain, you may return to your planet unharmed. Perhaps your scientists will be able to find some way out of their dilemma. I may be able to uh, give them one or two ideas of my own. Yes, yes, I know all flights were suspended.